Welcome to digitalconstructive.com and in this video we're going to be talking about how to get the Arizona roofing license. Now what can you do with a roofing contractor license in Arizona? You can apply, repair, or install weatherproofing, i.e. asphaltum, pitch, tar, felt, glass fabric, flax, or other commonly used materials or systems, or roof accessories, including flashing, valleys, gravel stops, or sheet metal as required for the licensee to install and repair. And that's a definition straight from the AROC Arizona Registrar of Contractor website. Now that includes roof tile, shingles, shakes, slate, metal roofing systems, urethane foam, roof insulation or coatings on or above the roof deck, and then of course installation of new or existing skylights. Now, in the state of Arizona, there are three separate roofing license classifications. There's a residential roofer, known as the R42. There's a commercial roofer, known as a C42. And then there's a dual license for residential and commercial, known as the CR42. Now, the basic requirements for an Arizona contractor license are that you're at least 18 years of age. You'll need a valid driver's license or USAID. You'll need a social security number. And you'll need to establish yourself as a legal business entity. Now, in the state of Arizona, licenses can only be issued to legal business entities, and you have the option of choosing either a sole proprietorship, a partnership, an LLC known as a limited liability company, or a corporation. Now, each entity has to have what's called a qualifying party. And this is a person with the necessary experience, knowledge, and skills. And obviously, they also need to pass the exam. Now, you also may be asked to prove your experience to the Arizona Registrar of Contractors, so that's something that you need to be prepared for just in case. Now, how long does it take to get a contractor license in Arizona? The time frame generally fluctuates, but the basic roadmap that you're going to want to follow is you're going to determine your classification, you'll apply for an examination date, you'll complete a background check, form yourself as a legal business entity, and then you'll submit your application to the Arizona Registrar of Contractors along with your passing score. Now, all contractors have to pass the Arizona Business Management Exam. It's an Arizona construction law test. It's 180 minutes. It's 80 multiple choice questions. And you need a 70% passing score. And you also get three attempts to pass the exam. Now, the Business Management Exam topics include workmanship standards, business mathematics, Arizona Registrar of Contractor Rules, AROC Statutes, Financial Management, Tax Laws, Liens, Environmental Regulations, Business Management, Insurance and Bonding, Contracts, and Safety. Now, for additional information on study guides and online practice tests, you can actually check out the links in the description of this video. Now, you also need to pass a roofing trade exam, and the topics generally covered on this exam include estimating and plan reading, surface preparation and planning, roofing components, repairs and re-roofing, steep and low slope roofing, waterproofing, safety, and roofing materials. And again, you'll find resources specifically for this test in the links in the description of this video. Now, the costs for an Arizona contractor license include a state application fee, you'll pay a license fee, You'll pay into the recovery fund assessment. You'll cover the cost of a background check. You'll need a contractor bond and then workers' compensation if you have employees. And then you'll need to cover the cost of testing fees. Now, we've got a separate video after this one that goes into the most up-to-date costs for an Arizona contractor license, and I suggest you watch that video. Just want to thank you for watching. For additional information on getting licensed, bonded, roofing trade skills, and more, you can check out our website. Otherwise, like and subscribe to our channel, and any questions that you have, please feel free to drop them in the comments. But again, this is digitalconstructive.com, and thanks again for watching.